welcome to Brawl Talk. I'm Paula, the new community manager, and in this update. Wait, what was that? Don't tell me it's. It's the summer of dinosaurs! That's right, the seventh season is coming and it's called Jurassic Splash. So from the combination of dinosaurs and summer, we present to you Buzz. Buzz is the lifeguard of the Velociraptor's water park and is also the chromatic brawler for this season. So he's not very good at his job due to his size and his short arms, but he loves to enforce rules and tell people what to do, or better, tell people what not to do. Speaking of what not to do, if I was you, I would run away from him. He's a short-range brawler who throws a series of punches. But running might not be enough, because with his super, he can throw his life boy at an enemy or a wall, and then he can pull himself towards it. And then if he does that against a brawler, he can stun the brawler for a short while. And he also plays in a punk band, so Born That Bass is exclusive skin for this season. And the first king of this season, Surfer Call. But Cal is not the only one getting ready for Samba thing. We have Dino, Leon, Beastime Mortis, Coco Rosa, Jetski, Jackie for Power League, and Whale Watch Nita, which was created by the last Supercell Make winners. Fontis, Incastle, Beats, and Francie. And non summer skins, but still very cool. We are getting Burger Lou, we have Herms, Max, and Mega Box Darrow celebrating our first anniversary in China, so everyone will get it for free. And to support Bormat Bass, we brought the rest of the band, which are Fresh Coco on the guitars and Wicked Stu on the drums. And not part of the band, but still super cool, Vicious BB get into the game in a challenge, so you can get it for free if you beat the challenge, but of course you will be in the shop afterward. And if you are a football or soccer fan, we are in a partnership with the Latin America Master League. The Brawl Stars Master League features one of the most iconic things in Latin America. And we are getting also skins for that, of course, but also it's the first esports tournament where only football clubs will be participating. And the teams include, wait, because it's hard to remember, uh, Boca Juniors, América de Cali, Universidad de Chile, Universitario de Perú, Nacional de Uruguay, Corinthians, Atlético Nacional de Medellín, Cerro Porteño, River Plate, Liga de Quito, Flamengo, Club América y Chivas. Um salve pro Mengão e pro Timão. So get ready to play and represent your team and stay tuned for more information. Good news for the knockout fans. It's now permanent with some improvements and new maps. And apart from new challenge, we are also getting the Brawl Stars Championship Challenge reward revamped. And this summer we want to try three new game modes. We'll have Volley Brawl, where you can let the ball hit the ground on your half of the map. If it does, the enemy team scores. The first team getting two points wins the match. And Basket Brawl, a community suggestion. So play is a bit like Brawl Ball, but the map is shorter and you have to hit the ball in the basket. But the trick is that the basket is actually moving. And last but not least, hold the trophy. There is one trophy on the map, and the team who holds it for longer wins the match. But watch out, because the brawler who is holding the trophy gets slowed down. So you must protect your teammate at all costs. Wait. That wasn't the last one. Present Plunder is dead, but now is reborn as Trophy Thieves. We have risking the event to be more on brand with the Who Stole the Trophy campaign that you have on the eSports channel. So instead of uh, carrying a uh, present, you're now carrying a trophy. And for the map maker enthusiasts, we are now adding modifiers. You already know some of them, like Meteor or Energy Drinks, but we are adding new ones. And the good thing is they can also be used in friendly rooms. Also, we are getting five new objects. We have healing, spikes, damage clouds, slow, and a fast booster tile. And of course, they can also be used in Map Maker. And besides that, we are adding tons of new maps and also a new set of maps for Power League. So, hey Paula, how about the third member of the gift shop trio? 
Oh yeah, Colette's an Edgar's boss, Grief. He's an epic brawler. He's very greedy and to be honest, not the most caring person. He uses tips from Edgar's and Colette's tip jar to attack. And those tips work in an interesting way. He tosses nine coins and they spread out the further they go. So you can annoy people from very far, but the real damage happens if the enemy is next to you. As for his super, he throws five sharp edge banknotes in a white cone dealing damage on the way in and on the way back. The farther away the opponents are, the greater is the damage. And on the way back, they can go over walls. And look at that. You can get grief for free with a challenge in July. And if you beat the challenge, you get grief before everyone else. But don't worry, if you don't beat the challenge, you will be able to get grief anyway from boxes or from the shop once he's released the following week. And I know it's sad, Brotalk is ending, but we still have some more content for you. 10 new gadgets. And every new brawler is getting an additional rare pin. And also more of them are being animated. And true gold and silver skins for Cold and Mr. P. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and comment here the favorite part of this brawl talk. Thank you for watching and see you again in two months from now. Bye bye. That's right. That's right. That's right. But when exactly? Every time Danny talks. He'll get really sad if you don't say it. Every time. And to support Bass's Sorry, team. Sorry, <laughs> destroying the environment. <laughs> Go ahead. Hay tres modos nuevos y robo de regalos vuelve, pero es un poquito diferente. Hey, Frank. Yep. Yep, they're doing great, but uh, I don't know about these costumes.